My name is Tennille Jeffrey Simmons, Assistant Superintendent, System and School Improvement. Now I'm going to walk you through the how of our presentation as it relates to system and school support. What you can see on the slide is a side-by-side -side really highlighting some areas of difference between the system that we are transitioning out of in CLB and the system that we are transitioning towards. The purpose of this slide is just to give you a quick view of some of the measures that are different in this system. You can also see here on the right side of the slide, the emphasis around all students and disaggregated by student population. Again, for the purposes of comparing where we have been and where we're headed, you can see on the left an overview of required action districts, priority and focus, and then uh, following the section that you just had on accountability, the uh, measures that we are using in the ESSA system on the right. Here's a visual of one of the differences between this shift in methodology. Again, in CLB on the left, where we were identifying the lowest 10% of schools in priority and focus, and now it's a representation of how the system has changed based on establishing a baseline of performance and then identifying schools that fall below that threshold as either comprehensive or targeted. In the NCLB era, there was really one type of approach that was deployed to support schools that were identified for improvement. The supports were uh, relatively undifferentiated, and you can see moving right on this slide, following the green arrow at the bottom of the slide, that we're now heading towards a more differentiated support model organized by tier where supports are differentiated and then matched to the need foundational and self-directed being available uh, for a larger number of schools and then as we move towards those comprehensive schools uh, which require most of our uh, support and organization and partnership they will have access to those foundational and self-directed supports and then additional supports This slide is a quick view of how we're thinking about our work in system and school improvement, focusing on studying, support, and then serving. So studying what are the supports that are needed, uh, support, what are the supports that we have available based on what we have seen as a need, and then how are we going to deploy those supports in an effective manner. Some examples of steps that the agency is taking in anticipation of fall 1819 is we're partnering with CISL inside of the agency to complete a professional learning and technical assistance inventory. We're also working on a comprehensive communication plan uh, to schools and, um, for example, looking to partner differently with superintendents as they plan their communication efforts inside of their school districts. We're also working across the agency to implement a common web presence as a strategy for simplifying the exercise of finding uh, tiered supports on OSPI's website. Examples of what those common web pages uh, may look like can be found on this slide and then again on this slide. I'll spend a little bit more time here because it highlights the common organization on program pages that we are aiming towards. What we're looking for is a strategy that would allow someone from the field uh, to know that irrespective of what program they were looking to gain more information about, that they would be able to use a common strategy for finding that information. So these icons uh, we're looking to have present across the website as a way of simplifying the complex work of resource gathering in the field. Here you can see our notification and support timelines from left to right. Um, the date is on the far left is very close to the recording of this webinar because those um, in advance calls to Comprehensive will be beginning very soon, ideally this week. We're also going to be communicating with schools um, in a 
another way in advance of that public release of data the week of March 12th. As I mentioned just a few moments ago, we're partnering with ESDs to organize a variety of superintendent sessions where we can meet in person with superintendents and collaborate with them around uh, messaging and then also supporting them to make sure that the questions that they may have about their data are answered as they're determining how best to lead in their school systems. Immediately following those sessions, we'll be partnering across the agency to hold a number of statewide Zoom meetings. The target audience for those Zooms will not be superintendents, they will be um, district level administrators or even principals. And so the, the the content of the information being shared in those Zoom meetings will be appropriate and tailored for those audiences. Another view of our notification and support timelines can be found in this table. Um, I'd like to draw your attention to uh, the coordination with ESDs that it will be following district notification. But you can see that across the board, our strategy is to provide information at the right time to ESDs. So as you are um, contacting your ESD, if your ESD is a partner um, in your daily work, that you're able to know that they're aware of the questions that you are grappling with at the time that you call. 